biggest uh, get over the finish line, obviously. And we've covered this um, in depth on how this process has been moving forward. And to be clear, you weren't a full guest no traffic um, in the from jump on this major spending bill. You made clear that there's a key element. One key element for you is raising the cap on how much state and local taxes people can deduct. It's an important tax deduction for people in your district. Is this shorthand is SALT that everyone hears people talking about it. If that gets stripped out in negotiations, what do you do? Well, I don't think we should undermine what we just did Monday. When the president signed into law a bipartisan infrastructure piece of legislation that Senator Portman, the budget director under Bush, called counterinflationary. I mean, that to me was a critical piece of the legislation that we had yeah, to get second out. And that wasn't so easy to get, get finished, despite all the support for it. So second I think out, that was right. really an important piece With of the legislation light on that I'm very supportive of. And they really provide the base for a lot of what we need to do and invest in in this That's country. Line, right. This is yeah. also, this bill also contains things that are going to bring costs down for New Jersey families. Like you said, the state and local Ooh. tax deduction. Um, I think there's some misunderstanding of how, how we work in our state that this is not untaxed income. This is something that's never been in our tax code from the time of Abraham Lincoln until now. Um, we have had the ability to deduct our state local taxes, and it's been really important for us to invest in, for example, the nation's best public schools. But, that, but that's why I'm asking, because you made clear, kind of, you, tw you tweeted out something like, no, if, if, you know, no salt, I'm a, a no salt, I'm a no go, or something. I'm paraphrasing and tweeting it out. But is that still the case when it comes back to you in the House? That's what I'm trying to establish. Yeah, no, salt is critically important to get it through the House, and we've made that clear. Uh, my, you know, people like myself and Josh Gottheimer and Tom Swazi and Bill Pascal. This is critical because this is a critical investment in our state and how we bring down costs in North Jersey. And so, certainly, this is a piece that I have to see to pass it through the House. And we've been working through what it's going to look like in the Senate. And I was just on the floor of the House talking to the Speaker about how important this is, as she knows. She just tweeted out yesterday how important it is. And we were talking about how we're going to get this through the Senate. One step, uh, and it's already been a long road. It looks like there's still road ahead. But we will see. Thank you for coming on, Congresswoman. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. Also breaking right now, President Biden is at Walter Reed Medical Center undergoing his first physical since taking office. The White House says that the president will transfer power to Vice President Kamala Harris for a brief period of time when he's under anesthesia to get a colonoscopy. CNN's John Harwood.